If there's one thing South Bay residents like, it's a rags to riches success story. Such is the case with downtown San Jose's SOFA district. SOFA stands for South of First Street Area, a neighborhood that most definitely saw its share of decline in the 1970s. This was what I called then and I still call it now. Uh, it was previously the South Bay Tenderloin. Right. It really was. It was a scary place to hang out. Over the last decade, the city has invested heavily in the SOFA district, and now the neighborhood is on fire. What has transpired is an epicenter for arts and culture. Take MACLA, for example. MACLA stands for Movimiento de Arte y Cultura Latinoamericana, or roughly translated to Movement of Latin American Art and Culture. And our goal is to uplift the voices and the work of Latino artists. And the list of local cultural assets goes on. SOFA is home to the California Theater, Cinequest Film Festival, San Jose Stage Company. You got black Mercedes Benz by any chance, do ya? Get away from the door! And the Quilt Museum, plus the up-and-coming SOFA market. SOFA District has gone from scary to sublime. This is creative convergence where you have a broad range of different types of creative activities happening. Things that are theatrical, we have visual arts, we have music, we have great culinary arts. San Jose's Office of Cultural Affairs is making a concerted effort to transform SOFA into a place where folks want to do business. Take the SOFA market, a high-end food court that often depends on the foot traffic generated by South First Fridays, the Sofa Street Fair, the Sub-Zero Festival, and Sofa Sundays. When the streets are blocked off, we have like street fairs and, and that kind of thing. We appreciate the city's efforts to uh, promote this area. It's tremendous. The city has been partnering with developers on projects like The Pierce, a high-rise apartment building that serves as the gateway to Sofa and home of the award-winning Voxel Cloud. Voxel Cloud is an illumination art installation that gives Interstate 280 commuters a light show every evening and it received the 2017 Silicon Valley Business Journal Structures Award. Voxel Cloud receiving that award was incredible. I mean, what a wonderful achievement to be recognized for having the best public arts in this region of Silicon Valley. So that was a huge honor. And we have to give out, you know, recognition to the artist, Brian Brush. Adams Happner adds the challenge for the city is keeping the arts in SOFA and not pricing out the artists in one of the most expensive real estate markets in the nation. But many artists say the city is rising to the challenge and nourishing arts and culture. It reminds me of um, uh, certain boroughs in, in New York or in San Francisco, just these small neighborhoods that have a lot to them. And uh, what I've definitely noticed over the last couple of years is how much San Jose is actually investing back into the SOFA district. But the Office of Cultural Affairs is not resting on its laurels. There are more exciting partnerships for SOFA on the horizon. And so the future looks bright. You see murals on the street that are absolutely gorgeous, beautification of the neighborhood, a thriving younger art uh, group emerging. These are very innovative artists, sure. which is fantastic. They're taking the lead from the technology innovators. So it's come a long way since we first started chipping away in San Jose's Tenderloin. For California Up Now, I'm Claudia Eisman.